First of all, good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here. Y'all could have been anywhere, but y'all came to talk to me, so I'm excited about that. Um, so the, the initial conversations with, with uh, Jeff are, um, number one, uh, I was happy as heck for him because um, we worked together numerous times, and I'm super excited about him. I know how hard these opportunities are. And then when you combine the fact that, hey, man, you're going to be the head coach at Boston College, um, you know, a place that I that I knew of growing up, um, coming up in football, and I think it's a prestigious place. So I was super excited for him. Um, you know, it never really got to the point of, hey, do you want to do this together until, you know, because he had a lot going on at Ohio State. But, you know, conversations um, led to other things down the line, and I'm – I'm super excited to be here. This this is uh, this is really thrilling for me because number one, it's with a guy I respect as a person and as a football coach, and it just happened to me that we're, we're aligned in many ways um, when it comes to football. You guys are both sort of in that Seattle Yeah, yeah. I think you can, I think you can call it that. I, I you know I I came up um, I came up through the Rutgers. Um, coach gave me an opportunity, and we worked together at Rutgers. Yes. And how much? Like you said, did you guys kind of cut the teeth as you learned beside each other? I think Frank was talking about being on the road together. Yeah. So, so the so the cool thing about um, half and relationship, I think, is, um, you know, my earliest days in coaching were with Coach Chiano. Um, he came up with Coach Wanstead. So, um, you know, it's just it, it's turned into a combination of all the different experiences we've had apart from each other, and and. We, we brought it together. Uh, obviously, he's a you know he's a he's been a super successful guy. Um, you know, and what happens is for me, I try to I try what I try to do is I try to combine everything I've learned over the years and make it specific to what I like or what's good for our players. And um, I think that's what I think that's what we'll have here. From a concept standpoint, um, what have you? kind of learned just from having worked at various different spots, worked with, with Coach Halfley, worked in the NFL um, to come to BC. And, and what has your, been your initial reaction to the players and, and how they've either absorbed some of those concepts or for your, for your even standpoint, some of the things you need to teach them? Yeah, so um, regarding concepts, it's, um, I, I, think it's a little, I think it's a little early as far as that stuff goes because we're still trying to figure out what's best for our guys. Um, you ask a, a good question. I think what I've learned over the years is it's easy for us as coaches to draw things up on the board. If our guys can't do them, it, it doesn't matter. So um, whatever we do, when we finally get to that point, we're, we're going to tailor fit it to our guys. Um, we're going we're gonna to put guys in a, in a position where they, where, where they can succeed because it's not about us as coaches on the sideline. Um, I think it's one of, the, you know, one of the mistakes a lot of good coaches make is, yes, you do have a lot of ideas and concepts, but does it match the personnel that you have? So we're, we're very um, aware of that. And from a coaching standpoint, um, how have you adjusted to working with, with these different coaches? I know some of them you, you've worked with in the past, but the coaches uh, on the defensive side of the ball, how have all of your values, all of your concepts uh, started to align? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely about mutual respect, um, knowing, understanding and knowing where everybody's come from. Um, here, here's, here's one thing that I do understand. Um, you know, I, there's a, there's a lot of guys that I met for the first time in the, in the last month and a half. But, um, what I do know is if, if Jeff thought highly of you and he interviewed you and he thought you did a good job, then there's, there's a chance that, that I would too. And so far that's been proven right. Um, there's a lot of smart guys here. Um, good people, bottom line that, that, that all want to come together and, and do it together. And, and that's what we have here. So I'm excited about that. So there's obviously a, a new energy around the program. Um, team camaraderie aside, how much does that help the coaching staff to kind of build that camaraderie, you know, as well and, and kind of feel that energy around the program? Uh, you know, you, you just said the key word there. I think, in my opinion, um, one of the cornerstones of what we're doing or what we will do on defense is energy. Um, when when there isn't when there isn't any, it doesn't sustain. And energy will take us to the next level. There's a you know there's a lot of there's a lot of solid teams out there, solid programs, but the ones that have positive energy, um, the places where I've been, 
where we've been successful, it's been because we were energetic and full of life and everybody wanted to be there every day. So that's definitely a goal that we strive for. And so far, so good. Um, just two words quick. When you look at you, Jeff, and Frank, uh, there's a ton of NFL experience. What's the significance of that? And then how do you guys think uh, those things will be kind of implemented into kind of the fabric of what you Sure. I would say the significance of that means that, um, number one, we were blessed with great opportunities, first and foremost, because uh, there's a lot of people that would want to have the opportunities we've had. But uh, one of the things that I know the NFL forces you to do is you better be a great teacher. Um, they're, they're all great athletes, but the only way you can separate yourself in that league is are you teaching and are you making guys better? And the proof is in the pudding there, you know, your, your, your guys are either playing well or um, when they look back from the time you got there and they compare it uh, to after that, they want to know that you've helped them reach their goals or become better players. Um, so that, that's what I would say about that. You talked about when Jeff got the job as Boston College, right? So, so you already have like an impression, but there's a track record here for like defenses and top defenses in the country. How much does that appeal to you? And then also when you look at kind of the roster, like, Christ, I can't even run out of names, guys. Yeah, absolutely. It's it absolutely rings true to me. Um, I, you know, I think you know, I think uh, luckily a lot of it has to do with yeah, I, I am a Northeast guy, and and I know the kind of players that have come through these halls. Um, but I've always respected the, this place for what they are and who they've tried to be. And um, you know, I, I look forward to uh, putting our own imprint on that. Um, what are some of the key characteristics you look for in uh, players you're trying to recruit? Um, the key characteristics. Um, I mean, first of all, you know, what, what we've done as a staff is we've come together and we've identified in our, in our own minds what we want to be and how, and how we want to get there. And, you know, with that being said, we have a vision of um, who should be here. And um, it's not always going to be a cut and dry explanation or description of a guy. But one thing that I do know, I think to be successful here at BC, you have to be OK with being unique. Um, we're going to be unique as a, as a staff. We're going to be unique, um, maybe schematically. Um, we're not afraid to you know, to, to, to push to push the bar and, and be on the edge and be on the cutting edge or be different. Um, you know, we want we want good players, obviously, like everybody else. But, we, you know, we want the we want the student athlete who's, you know, who loves football and is comfortable in his own skin and is comfortable with being pushed to the to the limits of what he can do. Um, you know that that's what you'll get that i think that's what you'll get from us as as a as a staff and as a as a program overall we we're, we're, we're not we're not afraid to uh we're not afraid to be ourselves because i you know i i think one of the the strong points of being here at Boston College is it's it's one of the most unique places in the country so um we're going to match that as a program glance at the roster, you already have guys who are like leaders who are older, like Max, or guys who are younger and had to be in those like playing with Fashion or whatever. Are there guys that you need to like come in and like, let me make sure I talk to these guys about how, you know, as a new, as a new coach, you yeah. make sure that we have like a relationship and then also how do you implement it? You yeah, know? so m my experience tells me that you have to, you have to reach and touch every, every player in your program because, you know, once again, our goal is to, to, to make sure everybody reaches their potential and if you don't communicate and you don't, you know, even socialize with them, then you'll never know what you can get out of them. So, yeah, we've we've done we've done I think a, a great job of reaching out to every kid and making sure that you know we're trying to get them to we're trying to get to know them as a whole person. And because I think at the end of the day, um, when you get to know a player as a whole person, they give you more back. Now, Jeff's off Clemson, and then, you know, football playoffs. When you look at like an offense. Like, that offense and then other offenses around the conference. You know, like, is that a, a fun challenge to kind of like Absolutely, absolutely. Um, if if you're not if you're not up to the challenge of that, then then you can't do what we do. 
Um, you know, obviously every Saturday is different, but yeah, there's going to be a challenge. There's going to be a unique challenge every Saturday that we have to rise up to. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this about, about Jeff as, as good of a guy as he is and as good of a football coach he is, he's as fierce a competitor as I know. Um, you know, and I think we can all say that as coaches too. We're, we're very competitive. We're, we're not going to back down to anybody. Um, you know, so we're, we're up to the task. You mentioned just being able to try things or, or implement things. Uh, how much has defense changed just from an overall standpoint? What have you seen from maybe when you started coaching through there's different stops to, to where you are right now? There's, there's, been a lot of, there's been a lot of major changes. Um, you know, you, you have to keep up or else you're going you're gonna to be left behind. Um, I, I, think that's, I think that's one of the, um, the neat things about certain places is once again, they're they're willing to try new things, and when they try new things, you 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 know sometimes by accident or sometimes by design, you stumble into something that's that's really good. Um, so we're, we're um, I'm excited about you know once again, I think every week's going to be its own individual week, and we got to be up to the task of because we're going to be we're going to be facing a lot of creative, um, smart minds on the opposite side. So. Um, you know, if, if we didn't, if I didn't think that would be fun, then I wouldn't be here.